Okay, uh, minasang, konnichiwa. Samurai Engineer Des. So in this uh, live stream uh, lecture, I uh, will uh, would like to discuss the uh, next um, topic on welded members. Okay, so please uh, give me a cue if uh, you can hear our uh, sound clear enough. Please confirm. Okay, uh, clear po sir, according to John uh, Wilbert, so shout out sa iyo, John Wilbert. Uh, therefore, uh, let's uh, proceed with our discussion. So, welded members, when uh, tension loads are transferred by welds, okay, meaning from one uh, element to the next element, the rules from AIC table uh, 3.1, table 3.2 in this uh, text are to be used to determine values for A and U. So, we have AE as uh, for voltage connection, okay, uh, AU. So, we have also for welded connection as follows. So, there are uh, the following, number one. So, case number two. Okay? Number two, case number three, and number three, case number four. So, case two, three, and four. So, case uh, number two is about uh, longitudinal welds. Okay? Uh, that uh, have to be transmitted to other than a plate member or uh, longitudinal welds in combination with transverse welds. Okay, so I would like to show you that part. Okay, so table, I think we have here. So, case number 2. So, let us uh, proceed to case number 2. So, okay. So, this is uh, all tension members, okay? So, there is no specific as to what type of connection, either welded or uh, uh, bolted so meaning we can use this uh, one in okay? case two <clears throat> and then uh, we can also use case three case three says that all tension members where the tension load is transmitted only by transverse well transverse so number case number two is longitudinal transmission okay okay so the tension load is transmitted longitudinally in case 2, while in case 3, it is transmitted uh, transverse. Okay, so as you can see, uh, U is equal to 1 if you are in uh, case number 3. Okay? So what about case number 4? Plates, angle, channels with welds, okay? specifically uh, we have to use the following uh, formula. U is equal to the quantity 3 L squared over 3 L squared plus W squared. And multiply by the quantity 1 minus X bar over L. What do we mean by W? As you can see in the figure, so W is the width of the plate or connected element. So... The connected element width okay and it depends upon the uh, relationship of uh, w and l so let's take a look on this case so again from the uh, text so 
the lower portion of the text. Okay? So, we have the following. Okay? Case 4, when L is equal to or greater than 2 times W. Okay? W is the width, and L, as we know it, okay, is the uh, weld length. Okay? The weld length. Okay? So, if the weld length is uh, equal to or greater than 2 times W, okay, so then we can use uh, U is equal to 1. Okay? So, that is 1. Okay. More than 2 times if the weld length is more than 2 times W. So, definitely there is a what? The relationship of W and uh, the length of will to the welding length okay next uh, if uh, two times w is uh, greater than l okay greater than l but l is still greater than 1.5 w okay that is the next uh, u in this manner is 0.87 okay Point eighty seven, and uh, lastly, if uh, L is less than one point five W, but L is still equal or greater than W, okay? So meaning L is between W and one point five W. Okay? So meaning to say, meaning to say, the weld length should not be less than the width of the plate so that is the conclusion here okay so we are given the hint we are given the clue that in welding and connecting the joint using the welded and welded uh, method the minimum amount of welding length must be the width of the plate okay so we can conclude it that way because uh, as you can see Okay, so U is equal to 0.75 if uh, L is uh, within the value W and W times 1.5. Okay, so do you follow? Do we follow? Are we clear? So let us proceed to the example. Example number 8. So we are given 1 by 6 in split as shown in the figure. Okay? So we have plate which is 1 by uh, 6. So we have 6 and thickness 1. That is what we mean by 1 by 6. So we have width of 6 and thickness is 1. Connected to a 1 by 10 in split. So this is 1 by 10. So they are uh, both one inch thick, but this is wider because this is 10 inches. This is only 6 inches. And this is welded right here. So welded at the amount L is equal to 8 inches. So this is the weld. Well, 8 inches from the edge to that point. That is 8 inches. Okay. Uh, Longitudinal uh, fillet welds, that is uh, what we call longitudinal type of welding because it is on the same direction as the uh, tensile forces direction. Okay? Uh, then determine the LRFD design tensile strength and the ASD allowable tensile strength okay? of the member if uh, we are using a 572 okay or uh, grade 50 okay grade 50 material so grade 50 material 50 ksi with fpo is equal to 65 ksi okay so let us uh, solve solution so we have the following figure okay so take note recall all the formulas involved okay solution Considering the nominal all av available tensile strength of the smaller uh, plate, that means, okay, 
we are going to consider the smaller plate because it is the weaker link okay so weaker or smaller meaning weaker okay if the material is the same so we are uh, what talking about the same material okay so uh, assuming the same material okay uh, nominal uh, tensile force is equal to therefore uh, yield strength times gross area and that is 50 psi and uh, gross area of 1 times uh, 6 is uh, 6 therefore 6 times uh, 50 that is 300 uh, kips okay and it keeps okay so since uh, we know it already and we know that uh, we have phi on tension members as 0 0.9 so 0 0.9 times uh, 3 that is 270 uh, kips, okay? That is our gross section yielding strength, okay? What about ASD? So for ASD, we have a corresponding safety factor of 1.67. So 300 divided by 1.67, that is equal to 179.6 kips, okay? So, so again, if you compare... You compare uh, okay. You compare uh, we have this as allowable. This is the design. This is our design strength. This is allowable uh, strength. Okay, 180, our level strength. Okay. Now, uh, for the tensile rupture strength, okay, so since we are going to do the rupture, let us talk about the uh, effective area, okay, effective area. So before we can do that, let's uh, talk about the net area. And again, uh, we do not have holes, okay, so we have instead the uh, lag factor u so for the lag factor u okay so we need to calculate okay so the lag factor u what about the relationship of width and length so the length of the wheel is 8 inches so it is definitely greater than w okay so L is greater than W but W times 1.5 that is 9 okay and 8 inches is uh, less than 9 so it is between the weld length L is between W which is 6 and 9 which is 1.5 W therefore we are in the what here we are uh, here, okay? So we are here. Therefore, u is equal to 0.75, okay? We are on the 0.75. Okay? And that's one then let's go to the table let's go to the table to verify let's go to the table okay uh, and that table must be uh, case number four look at the case number four okay to the table okay and compute this one compute this one so let us compute this one okay uh, So 3L squared, okay, so we have that. So 1 minus X bar, so X bar, what is uh, X bar? The, uh, so can we do that? 
Let me show our Casio calculator. Let us uh, look. So if this is okay, so 3 times uh, 8 squared divided by quantity 3 times 8 squared plus W is 6 W squared okay so we can uh, we can have this and multiply by 1 okay or uh, point 0.5 okay multiply by point 0.5 which is oh. okay let us correct that divide by 3 over 8 why So this is a different this is a different one okay where is the other one so the 3 times uh, 8 squared divided by 3 times L is 8 squared plus 6 squared is about 0.85 ah 84 oh. multiply by 1 minus uh, <clears throat> so multiply it so therefore point seventy five divided by answer okay this is point eighty nine okay so therefore if you minus one minus this one Okay, so you have uh, x bar over l, and therefore multiply by l, which is 8. So we have 0.87, so 0.875 for our. So we have actually due to that uh, value okay so okay you to that value okay so we have to choose u is equal to 0.75 from the table from the case okay from here okay here you have to choose it from here this one okay so this one okay between these two okay. because point eight seven five multiplied by point five that is about point four okay so it's very low so we have to use the higher the higher one which is 0.75 and therefore we can proceed with the computation here okay. so using that 0.75 therefore multiply by our area 
So our uh, net area is equal to gross area because there are no holes. There are no holes. It is only a plain plate. So the area is 6 times 1. Okay? So 6 times 1 is equal to gross area is equal to net area. So net area is 6 times 1 times 1. That is 4.5. And 4.5 multiplied by FU. Okay? So we have 65 times 4.5. That is 222. Uh, 292. Okay? So multiply this one by 0.75 because for yielding 0.9 for rupture 0 0.75 so 0.75 times 2.92 so the answer is 219 and compare which one is lower 270 or 219 so 219 is the answer which means mm, rupture is the controlling uh, limit Okay, so limit state. So rupture limit state control. Okay. Now for the ASD, we have one uh, 79.6 a while ago for the yielding. For ASD, just divide by two because uh, omega is two. Divide to 146.2. So compare again. This is lower. So our answer is 146. So, our uh, design strength is 219 and our allowable strength is 146. Okay? Any question? Do you have any question? Okay. Now let's continue. Okay, so we have the explanation here. Sometimes an angle has one of its legs connected with both longitudinal and transverse width. Okay? Okay? But no connections are made to the other leg. Okay? To determine U from table 3.2 for such case is rather parsley. Okay? The author feels that case 2 of table 3.2 should be used for this situation. This is done in this example. Okay? So even these authors, when confronted by actual problem, actual design problem, they have, they have so much the length of experience and the expertise is there. No question about it, these authors. But what they are telling us, the author feels so gut feel. This is a judgment call. This is a judgment call of a designer. He is allowed to do that because he is a designer. But, the what I'm saying is, even these expert designers cannot have the scientific, scientific basis. Okay? They are even puzzled about. Puzzled. They are questioned. They are bothered about it. Okay? Okay? They cannot say they do not agree, but they are puzzled about why they are using such things. Okay? Imagine this. Okay? Imagine this. These things do not happen in electrical engineering. They do not happen in computer engineering, electronics engineering, mechanical engineering. This, this happens in Mika ah, in civil engineering. Take note about this. No? Okay. We are showing transparency in our design. Okay. That is the end point of the technology. That is the end point of our knowledge, of our collective knowledge. We are not competing with each other. We are not competing with each other. The designers are not competing the, with each other. The uh, engineers are not competing with each other. Literally, it is the engineers versus the current amount of knowledge. Okay? The current amount of knowledge cannot still deal with this type of situation. This is a basic, this is a basic problem. One plate connected to an another plate with welding. And yet, 
an expert author, an expert, not only author, okay, professional design engineer, structural engineer, okay, is puzzled and only feels, okay, the judgment is there, only feels that case too. That's how we are going to correct and check your papers. Okay? This is a reality. This is a reality. This is not mathematics wherein answer is fixed. In mathematics, the answer is fixed. In mathematics, we have a closed solution. Okay? We cannot change the solution. We cannot change the result. We may have different uh, solution actually. We may have different approach, but we have one final answer. But here, take note. Okay? There are at least three. There are at least three possible answers. With the same person. The same person will have three answers. What more if there are two engineers? So there are two engineers. Uh, therefore, there are six different answers. Okay? Take note. Take note. That's for how... That's how it is very important, the experience and the expertise in civil engineering. It is more on what? Feeling. The author feels. Well, this is uh, the second case. This is the second case that I show you. The author feels. The number one that I show you, the author feels, is when he uses the allowance for bolt to that he used what? 1 over 8. This author used 1 over 8 as an allowance for bolt hole. Okay, bolt hole. While the code suggests 1 over 16. But the author, since he is uh, experienced enough, he has plenty of personal experience on the ground, he is using 1 over 8. Take note. That is his feeling that is the engineer's feeling okay and uh, there is a reason for it but there is no there is no mathematical or analytic solution that could uh, that could be derived in order to come up with 1 over 8 there is none there is no mathematical solution or analytical solution that we could come up that would say that the answer would be U is equal to 1 minus X bar over L in the same manner. Take note. Okay. Okay, so that is very uh, important. And let us uh, now go to the next. Go to the next uh, example, number 9. We are asked to compute LRFD, design tensile strength, and ASD allowable. Take note of the word. When we are using strength design, uh, we use the term design tensile strength or design strength. When we are using ASD, we are using the word allowable tensile strength or allowable strength. Okay? So, design strength and allowable strength. Okay? Of the angle shown in the figure, so angular bar. So, it is welded on the end, transverse, and sides, longitudinal, of the 8 inch leg only so meaning on one leg only it is supported by welded joint on one leg okay and uh, it is not uh, equal leg angular bar one leg is 6 inches the other leg is 8 inches okay so if you are confronted with this type of angle you have to connect it on the wider angle not on the six inches you have to weld the six inch leg of the angle not the the six inch you have to use the eight inch okay understood there is a mathematical solution for that okay that is uh, what moment okay uh, the more uh, the moment resistance would be better if uh, the moment arm is longer. Okay? 
Okay. Now, since we have this um, figure, so the what? The x bar is 1.56. Okay. Take note of the distance, 1.56. Okay. So we have the given 8 by 6 by 3 port, meaning the thickness is 3 port. So therefore, this is 3 port plus 1.56. Okay. Okay. So x bar is equal to 1.56 from the table. So area is 9.99 from the table. So you can what? You can find this out from the table by uh, using this. So can we find this out? So can we uh, show you how to do it? So so let us go to the table so I cannot show it here can we show it on another one another table okay So let us use this one. Okay. So we have this one. Uh, this is table. So let us look for the angle. So the angle shape. W shape, S shape, crane rails, W, S shape, W. So for a, for a W shape, uh, uh, what? Uh, you can that uh, centroid. You can use the WT shape in order to find out the the uh, what the centroid. Okay. So this is the L or angle or structural angle. Okay. So. What do we need to what do we need to get from the table? So we need to get the x bar and the area. Okay. X bar and the area. Let us uh, try to get that. And this is what? Tolerance. This is just a tolerance table. Tolerance per angle. This is just a tolerance per angle. So there is no this is just tolerance per angle. Okay. Uh, there is none from this table, so we can look it up from another table. Structural shape. Uh, let's open this one. So, please give me 15 seconds. So, my uh, system is not uh, running uh, very fast. So, it's running too slow.
Okay, what is this? So we have uh -huh. structural steel shapes. So it is not the one I'm looking for. So white plants. There's no angle. There's no angle. So properties of structural shape. Let's try this out. Let's try it. Properties. So we have these properties. Okay. So let's uh, proceed to this is now S section, C section, oh, angle. So that is our angle. So the angle is 8 by 6. Okay. So this is angle 8 by 6. This is 8 by 8. So we have. Angle 8 by 6. Okay, so we have here. Angle 8 by 6. Okay. 8 by 6 by 3 port. Are we good? Is that 3 port? So 8 by 6 by 3 port. So we found the correct table. So this is the correct table. 8 by 6 by 3 port. Ah, ah, ah. So 8 by 6 by 3 port. So what we have is 8 by 6 by 1 up. So we can, in, we can just interpolate. We can interpolate from the table and I will show you. I will show you. So, we are uh, going to find the area, and this is one, this one up, so we can interpolate between 13 to 6.75. So, let us proceed with the interpolation, that is 13 and what is that? 675 6.75 So what is our answer? The area is 9.99 If you interpolate that So this is uh, how you interpolate that 9.99 or 10 Okay Oh, this is how you do it. So, where is my calculator? I'm showing you my calculator. Okay. This is how you do it. The interpolation. So, 13 and 6.75. This is 1 inch thick. This is 1 half inch thick. So, we are going to find out three port inch thick so the three port is between these two so that's why i divided by two the answer is 9.87 or 9.9 .9, which is very much is very much near okay with the answer that is here no the answer is 9.99 or equal to 10 so you can use the interpolation as our resort. Okay? You can use the interpolation. Okay? Or you can use the, the finding out of area. You can find, uh, find out the area by, by uh, manual means. Okay? So for example, six, uh, 8 by 6. So 8 times 3 port 
That is the, ano, if you don't like uh, my answer, which is uh, 9.87, okay, so take note. I am showing you how to do it when you know how to do it without much regard for the final answer, okay? okay? Even if your final answer is correct, if you show me the wrong solution, the wrong way how to do it, I will cross it out. I will not give you any credit. I express too much explanation why. Okay. This is not a mathematics subject. Okay? You must know how to do it. That's why when I am explaining, I need you to look at the graph. I need you, you to sketch the graph. Okay? I need you to sketch the graph. How can you imagine if you don't sketch it? Okay? And just uh, put up the final answer. I will cross it out. I will cross it out. You need to show me that you know how to do it. Okay? Do we follow? Do we understand? You need to show me that you know how to design. You know how to calculate. It's not only the final answer. I can cross it out. I'm telling you, I will cross it out. Okay, if you don't show me the correct way how to do it, I will cross your solutions out if you don't show me the, uh, that you know uh, the procedure. Okay? okay, are we clear? We should be clear about this. This is a professional subject. This is not mathematics wherein you can just copy the final answer. Okay? That's why I am not explaining this faster and then just told, told you the final answer. I'm not just telling you the final answer. I am explaining step by step. Okay? Okay? Even showing you the error of the book. Even showing you the errors of the book. Okay? Okay? Do you understand? You have to show me that you know how to do it. Or else, if I have doubt that you can do it, I will uh, call you up and uh, give you a problem solving in front of me, face to face. Okay? So, so don't do it just like on the last time. Okay? Last time, without even sketching, without... Ah, okay. So, time pressure and you did not even made a bad, bad writing. <laughs> you have a perfect writing even if you are panic time, time pressure. You cannot, you cannot accept those things. Okay. Okay. If I have doubt, I will call you and ask you to solve it in front of me. I will give you my own problem. I will, I will formulate my own problem. Okay. I am very considerate. I am very considerate. I am giving you the problems that you can study, that you can learn. But if I have doubt, I will make my own problem and give it to you. You have to solve it one by one, one on one. I will uh, take a look at your solution. That's why you have to listen. Listen up. Listen up. Okay? So, if you don't like this, therefore, you can do the solution like in algebra. Area of a what? rectangle. Area of a rectangle. 8 times 3 port. That is how much? So, 8 times 3 port. Okay? Plus. So, 6 minus 3 port. Okay? 6 minus 3 port because you have to subtract uh, 3 port from the 6. So, so, 6 
minus 3 port okay multiply by 3 port because that is the thickness so this could be the your uh, answer for the area this could be the answer for your area okay I am not supposed to show this to you because you know how to do it okay? okay you know how to do it you know how to solve the area you know how to solve the centroid I don't need to show it to you okay you have to show it to me this is the time that you have to show it to me that you know all the prerequisite subject okay you come up a long way you have to show something okay 9.94 is the answer when you are going to uh, solve it manually, the area. So, from the uh, table, 9.99. From uh, this, 9.93. From uh, interpolation in the table, 9.875. Okay? So, they are within range of uh, the same value okay? <clears throat> if you show that level of understanding you will get correct answer you will get the check even though my own answer differs from your answer but even though if you get the same answer as my solution you can get a zero credit if I look at your solution and I'm, I'm not convinced. Okay? I'm not convinced with your solution. Okay? Take note, this is a professional subject. This is not mathematics. Okay? So you have to listen up. Okay, so we're through with area so therefore just multiply that area with the grade of steel so that means we have what 500 so we have 500 as our design strength okay uh, by multiplying it with na 0.9 so we have 450 450 okay so what about ASD? ASD just divide by 1.67. So this uh, one divide by 1.67. The answer is 299. This is our allowable strength. Okay. Next, we have to uh, find out the rupture strength. Therefore, first we need to uh, find the uh, area. And the, therefore, the same area. The same net area from the gross area because we are talking of building. So what about the value of U? Okay. So U is equal to 1 minus X bar over L is equal to 1 minus 1.56 divided by 6. So L is 6. Okay. So where does it came from? 6. This is the 6. That it, that it came from. Huh? The welding, longitudinal welding. That is the longitudinal weld, 6. Okay? Okay, this is transverse weld. This transverse weld, this is longitudinal weld. So that is 6. Okay? Now, that is because we are looking at case 2. That's why we are using uh, longitudinal. Okay? So if you use that, the answer of you is 0.74. Okay. So let us take a look at the table. Table. Case 2. Table case 2. The same. Therefore, the answer would be the same. The answer would be the same from table and from this uh, formula. So therefore, the same 0.74. Okay, so therefore, which one is the higher? They are the same, so you can use the same as 
the same answer, 0.74. So 0.74 times 10, so that is 0 0.7, 7 7.4. Eh? Okay, so and therefore, we can now solve for the uh, nominal. So, why it is 70? Okay. So, is that a given from example? That is given. Supposed to be the value of FU. If you have FY50, you usually the value of FU is 65. Okay? okay. Usually, here, usually the value of FU is 65. But it is a given in the problem. FY is 50, supposed to be FU is 65. Particularly when you are using A572. 50 and 65. But now, it is uh, not given what is the type of material. But the given is... FY50, FU70. So, we have to use the 70. Here, we have to use the 70. Here, 70 times uh, 7.4 is equal to 517. Okay? As nominal tensile force. So, multiply by the rupture uh, tensile uh, phi constant of 0.75 so, you will get 380. Okay? So, compare that to the answer above, which is 450 versus 380. Therefore, 380 will control the uh, design. So, LRD, therefore, is equal to 388 design strength. Okay? What about ASD? ASD for 5 is equal to 0.75. You don't need to memorize because 1.5 divided by 0.75, that is 2. Okay? That is 2. Therefore, 517 divided by 2, that is 256. Okay? Compare that to this value, so 299 versus uh, 258. So, therefore, 258 will control the design as our allowable strength, 250. Okay? So, are we good? Okay? So, we are uh, through with that. So, as you can see, we have uh, a splice or gasset plate, okay, for statically loaded tensile connecting elements. Okay? Their strength shall be determined as follows. You can see 1.67.92.75. The same, no? The same is true because we have yielding, we have rupture. The same is true. Okay? Formulas the same. Okay? Formula is the same. We are using gross for uh, yield. We are using effective for ultimate. Okay? This is for what? For a uh, gasset plate. Okay. So, example number 10. Okay. So, we have a tension member, FY, FU. So, this is the usual value, 50 and 65. Okay. So, assumed to be connected with ends with 238 by 12 inch plate assumed. Okay. So, this is the given figure. So, we are connected here at the top plans. We are connected there at the bottom plans. Okay. So, in this manner, there are two plates. This plate is 38 by 12. Another 38 by 12. So, both upper and lower plants connected like this okay so there are what three uh, bolts in series so that means we have l is equal to two okay two times something no? so two times the pitch of bolt to bolt distance so we have the uh, ultimate 
Okay. Ultimate. Uh, usually, we are showing nominal. So, here it is showing ultimate tensile strength. So, uh, PU over 2, PU over 2. Okay. So that uh, will remain static equilibrium. Okay. Because of that, we can proceed with the solution. Okay. So, nominal resistance. Okay. Nominal strength of the plates. Okay. Okay. So, nominal. So, yield times gross. So, yield is 50. Gross is this one. Okay. Area. So, what is this? The plate. So, this is the plate. Okay. Okay. So, 3.8. Okay. So, 3.8. By 12, okay, that is the plate, 3 by 12. What is this two? There are two plates, top and bottom. So that's why the total area must be added. Must be added, that must be added. Because the top and bottom simultaneously tries to resist the load, okay? They equally resist the load. Okay? So that's why we have to multiply by 2. So multiplying this one, we get 450. Then we can proceed for uh, yielding. So yielding, we have 0.9. So 0.9 times this. So we have 405. For AST, we have 1.67. So divide this one by 1.67. We have 270. Okay? Then go to the rupture part. Okay, so for rupture, we need your net area. So net area of two plates. So two times uh, this one. Okay. So minus the bolt. Hole. How many bolts? There are two. Why there are two? Because we are not looking longitudinally. We are looking transversely. We are looking transverse. Here. Transverse. This one. This one. This one. This one and this one. Okay. That is 2. Okay. So, we are looking in transverse. That's why we have 2. Okay. Eh, sir, we have 2 from the top plate and we have 2 from the bottom plate. So, there are 2 bolts. Therefore, there are 2 bolt holes. But we have 2 plates. So, that's why we again multiply by 2. So, 2 times 2, there are actually 4 bolt holes. Okay? So times the thickness, therefore we have the uh, net area. The only time we have the net area different from gross area is when we are going to to use bolted connection. But when we are uh, using welded connection, gross area and net area, they are the same. Okay? The only difference is the effective area. Okay? So, with this uh, answer, we can have this one. Okay. This one is in the code. This one is in the code. Okay. It was already questioned. It was already asked to me by one of your classmates. We were already asked before. Okay. Sir, where did this came from? So this came from the formula from the book. Okay, this is how you can find out the the uh, net area. Okay, this is how you can find out the net area. So, finding the net area, so 0.85 times gross area, therefore 7.65. Then compare, compare this net area to this net area. They are almost the same, but all... Even though they are the, almost the same, which one is the lower? So the lower one, because we want to be safe. We want to be safe enough, so therefore, we have to choose the lower value of area. So this is the lower one. Okay, so using this value, so we have this one. So multiply by FU, therefore, 
497. Multiply by 0.75. Okay, you cannot see it. I will adjust it. So, adjusting it. 0.75, so times that, 372. So, compare this one to this one. So, therefore, the answer is point. Uh, the answer is uh, 372.9. Okay? Or 373. Then, therefore, rupture is the lower. So, rupture controls. How about ESD? Divide by 2. So, this one, divide by 2. So, the answer is 247 or 248.6. 249 so which one is the lower so this one is the lower so therefore again rupture controls so that uh, ends our discussion on that uh, rupture in yield so we have a block shear okay so we have the block shear and the same uh, theory principle concept we already know about this so we will proceed with the blocks here that is not uh, equal to the yielding and rupture so let us find out the formula so the formula for blocks here as we already know it as I already uh, explained it on previous uh, module so we have 1 and 2 we have two equations that we have to compare. This one is just equal to this one. We have to compare this one to this one. Okay? So, the difference is this is 0.6 FU uh, net shear. This is uh, 0.6 FY uh, gross shear. So, gross times uh, tensile net times uh, ultimate again LRFD 0.75 omega is equal to 2 okay so those are already mentioned before these are already explained so let us go to the example so we are given uh, A572 grid 50 with FU65 so the tension member is connected with three three port inch bolts. So there are three bolts so as shown in the figure. And determine LR the block shear rupture strength and the so we are going to look for the block shear rupture and is the allowable block shear rupture. Okay? So we are looking for the rupture strength of the member. Also calculate LR the Design tensile strength and allowable tensile strength of member. Okay. Solution. So, 3 port uh, inch diameter bolts. So, on the figure, we have the plate. So, we have the uh, spacing, 4 inches, and we have the distance of the hole to the edge. Okay. So, we are given the what? Angle. This is uh, how you draw the angle. Angular bars with the uh, name 6 by 4 by 1 half. So 6 by 4 by 1 half. Yeah. So let us look from the table 6 by 4 by 1 half. So 6 by 4 by 1 half. So we have here. So 6 by 4 one by 1 half. So we need the area. Area is 4.75. So this is the area. 4.75. Okay, so the area is 4.75 right here. Okay, so X bar in unconnected length, leg, okay. So that is, the unconnected leg must be the 4. We have 6 here, okay. That's why you can uh, add 3 in 1 up plus 2 in up, that is equal to 6. So, the unconnected leg is 4. We always have to connect the wider leg. Okay? So, let us find out what is the value of uh, X bar. So, X bar from this figure. 
Uh, there is none. There is no value of x bar. Okay, here. How to produce the centroid, okay? So the distances C and D are measured from the centroid to the box of the legs. Okay? From the centroid to the box of the leg. C and D. So where are C and D? Here. So in this axis, okay. So therefore, we need the value of C, not D. Because D is on the connected leg. C is on the unconnected leg. Okay? So C... Where is C? Here. This is 6 by 4 by 1 half. Is that correct? C is 0 0.981. Is that correct? 0 0.981. So, that's correct. 0 0.981. I am showing you how to do it. How to proceed. Okay? Proceed. Unconnected leg. That is not D. Because the value for D is different. You can take a look. The value for D is 1.98. Okay? Almost double. Almost double. Okay? Very different value. So, when you know that already, we can proceed with calculation. Gross area. Of course, we can find out the gross area. Okay? So, this is not the gross area of this Okay, so this gross area is uh, 10. This is the gross area of the block. We are now on the topic of block shear. We are not on the yield and rupture anymore. We are now on the block. This shaded portion is the block. Okay, so therefore we are going to find this out. And the value of this area is 10. The thickness is 1 half. So 10 times the thickness, that is 5. Okay? The thickness of this is 1 half. Okay? So here is the thickness. 6 by 4 by thickness. This is the thickness. Okay? So 10 times thickness. Take note again. We are on the topic of block shear not yield. Okay? So, we are past the topic of yield and rupture. That's why this is how you calculate the gross shear area. This is the gross shear area. Okay? So, net net uh, shear area. How to calculate the net shear area? So, therefore, 10. So, this is the 10. Then, minus uh, 2.5 so, how many holes? 1, 2, and 0.5 because the shear would only be good up to the center. The shearing is only good up to the center. The center will give us the one half diameter or the total of 1, 2, 0.5. So, 2.5 holes. Okay? So, there are only 2.5 holes. Okay? This is the value of hole diameter 3 port volt plus allowance 1 8 so hole diameter so 10 minus this uh, value multiply by the thickness that is our net area okay take note we are using the black shear this is the shearing failure plane this is a shearing failure plane so black shear so 3.91 how about the tensile area? So, 2.5 inch. So, 2.5 inch. What is that? From this point to this point. This will yield in tensile manner. Okay? Yielding in tensile manner. So, this one. So, this is shear and tensile combination. That is a combination of shear and tensile. So, this is tensile. But we are not using the whole area. We are only using this block. This shaded block. We are using from this point to this point. This point to this point, that is 2 and a half. That is 2 and a half. Okay? Minus 1 half. Because you have 1 half bolt. 1 half uh, bolt hole. Okay? 1 half. Because the 
uh, center line is on the one half diameter one half then the bolt hole times the thickness we have the uh, area okay so the net area okay and uh, because of that UBS what is UBS UBS if you can get back so we have we, uh, we do not have UBS here so UBS again is uh, the the value of uh, lag okay the value of the lag okay okay for shear so for a uh, black shear we have one okay of this value UBS okay so we can uh, also show that on the three cases okay so I don't know if that is included here Maybe I can show you exhibit. Okay, so where is the okay? In this case, okay. So except so case one, okay. Case one except in case four, five, and six. So we are not uh, case four. We are not okay. We are not case four. Look at the case four. The connection is like that. So that is not case four. We are not uh, case five. That is not uh, circular. We are not case six. So we are not case four, five, and six. So therefore, we are case one. Okay. Can you follow? Can you follow here? Case four, five, and six. Case 4, 5, and 6. Okay. So, case 5 and case 6 are rectangular and circular. We are not. So, therefore, we are case 1. And then case 1, U is equal to 1. Okay. That's why we use the value 1. Here, we use the value 1. So, therefore, we can continue. We have to add this is shear, this is tensile. So, combination of this, what we call block shear. Okay. So, 3.91. This one is 3.91. Okay. This is shear. So, we have to use a puke. So, we have the formula here. Again and again. Aha. What is that? Just the formula. Here we have the formula. Here, okay. Okay. So we have shear times FU. Okay. Or we can also compare it to gross gross area times uh, tensile. Okay. And FU times U times uh, net tensile okay so we can do that and compare here therefore therefore the first the first one u times f u times uh, net tensile so multiply and then you get 219 okay so this one is just equal to this one but this one is not the same with this so we are using the total area times yield this is total area meaning gross area gross area times yield times 0.6 so if you do that this is 216 so which one is greater so since uh, 219 is greater than 216 
Therefore, our answer would be 216. Our answer is 216.95. Okay? Okay, so that is how we do it. Now, since we already know the nominal, we already know the nominal, we can now solve the uh, block shear strength. Okay? So, using that nominal value, okay, multiply by this one. So, nominal times uh, the value of phi, so that is 162.7. The same nominal, divide by 2, that is 108. Okay? 0.5. So, what about nominal or available tensile strength of angle? So, for this, we have this value of, of uh, computation. The same with our uh, topic, uh, what, uh, yield. This is the same topic as yield. So, gross is 4.75. FY is 50. So, this total multiply by 0.9. This is yielding. Okay? Yielding, so 213. Okay. What about for ASD? So, divide by 1.75. Ah, uh, 1.67. Okay. So, take note. Take note of how we did this way. Okay. 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 Any question? Do you have any question? Okay, I saw nothing, so I will just proceed. So no question. Okay, so now for the rupture, for the rupture, so we need uh, to find out the net area. So the net area is the gross area, same as uh, the way we are computing the rupture. Uh, previously same so i will not going to explain this anymore the same procedure the same usage of this the same usage the same uh, technique here and then find out that we have 0.75 while asd we have two so using those factors we can find out that we have 1.84 okay. now we have answer block shear, we have yield, and we have rupture. We have three answers. Now, compare the three. Compare the three. 184. Okay. 213. Or 162. So, therefore, 162.7 is the lowest. So therefore, that is our answer. Okay. In a similar manner, when you compare the ASD result, so the same is uh, the controlling limit state, the black shear controls. Usually the black shear controls whenever it has the answer. Usually, but not all the time. Okay? Usually the black shear controls. That's why you have to calculate that uh, first. Okay? Then go to the yield, then go to the rupture. Usually... Uh, block shear, then rupture, then the last is yield. Okay? So, in that uh, uh, arrangement. Okay? So, we'll uh, explain this uh, example very fast. Okay? We can explain this in three minutes. So, determine the LRFD design strength and the AST allowable strength. So, design strength for LF, LRFD, allowable strength for SD. A36, therefore we have 36 KSI and FU, 58 KSI. We have the given figure. We have the plate with the tensor, tension load. Width is 10 inches, but now we have welding. Okay. So the same process, but now welding will contribute a different slightly different solution okay we already know how to do it with respect to yielding so we already know how to do it in yielding like this we already know how to do it in rupture okay like this you need to 
look for the effective area first by looking for the value of u then net area then multiply u times net area you have effective area then multiply that you can have the nominal tension force that's how to do it and up to now this is uh, the part that we have to explain so for a uh, block shear we have to uh, create the block part so the block part is uh, welded so it is uh, better for us because the gross shear is welded one half times two times four that is equal to four okay so gross shear so gross so what about net shear so four okay what about the net uh, tension okay so net tension so we have this one net tension this one net tension this is the tension this is the shear plane this is shear plane which is four inches okay four inches is the shear plane this is the tension plane which is 10 okay so uh, let is supposed to be reflected here okay so so that is uh, 10 for the tension then thickness one up so area okay two two wheels of four inch each so times uh, thickness that is uh, area gross so therefore uh, since this is welding the net and the gross is equal they are equal so ubs is equal to one case number one this is case number one so therefore we can do this formula okay and compare it with this notice that this is equal with this okay we already explained that this is fu times uh, net which is equal to the gross times uh, fy so you can see that fy is less than ah uh, this value is less than this value so we have to use 376 so our nominal uh, shear so black shear is 376 which is because this is lower okay so this one multiplied by 0.75 this is the answer 282 and this uh, for uh, ASD divided by 2 188 now uh, Compare 282 with rupture and shear. 282. So it is less than. So rupture is lower. 162 is even lower. So therefore yield. Okay? So the answer is yielding. So therefore our answer is 162 yielding. Okay. In a similar manner. The answer for A is the yielding. Okay. Any question? So we are through for the day. Any question? Okay. So area 9.94. Okay. Uh, Okay, so therefore, there are no questions. So, good luck. Uh, I don't know if this is our last uh, meeting or not. So, I will just post on our GC. But be careful. Learn how to do what we studied. Learn how to do it. Okay. Again, uh, there are no questions. This is uh, Dr. AP, Preaching Engineering for Nation. Okay, uh, see you around.